Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back here at uh, Adobe Live. I'm so excited to be here with you, but most importantly, I'm excited to introduce you to the amazing Phil Pollen. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Claudia, I'm so excited to be here today. We're going to be so productive over the next few minutes. I think it's going to blow both of our minds. Yes, in fact, today we're going to be working on some amazing Instagram graphics in under 30 minutes. Uh, Phil is a wonderful brand strategist currently, and I say currently because we know that he travels a lot. We had a little bit of a, of a quick chat and we know that right now he's in Florida. For how long, Phil? You say that you stay, you're going to stay here for there, actually, because yeah. I'm in the UK. <laughs> yeah, I'm staying put for a little while. Normally, I'm only in place for a week or a month, but this time I'm staying put for a few months. Fantastic. So we're going to be with Phil throughout the entire week. Thank you so much again for joining us and kicking off this week uh, together. I can see in the chat we have uh, Jessica, Andreas, Sam. Let us know where are you watching from. As I said, I'm yes. based in the UK. That's where I am right now. Phil is in Florida. Let us know where you're watching from. We're always super excited uh, to hear from you. We are streaming both on YouTube and on Behance. Remember, Creative Cloud Express is a brand new app. Phil is going to show us how to quickly create some outstanding graphics for Instagram in just a second. But don't forget to go ahead and watch also on the YouTube channel. There is a YouTube channel filled with so many how-to, inspiration, and tutorials about how to use Creative Cloud Express. So make sure to subscribe, go there, and just catch up on the wonderful content that we put together. And we're going to be with Phil the entire week. So I'm going to leave it to you. Let's show us, first of all, a little bit more about you. Maybe we can start from your website. Sure, that's a great idea. I'll pull up my website here. This is a little look into my world. I'm not gonna spend much time um, on an introduction today because we do have a limited amount of time, but Claudia, you gave us a really nice little highlight overview. I'm a brand strategist, which means I help people in three phases in their business, positioning, building, and promoting. And so today um, we're gonna focus on how to create simple, beautiful, graphics for your Instagram feed. Content creation is a topic I talk a lot about, but I know that this can become overwhelming very quickly. I Listen, I am fully, completely self-taught in every Adobe app that I've been using for many, many years, but I love Creative Cloud Express for many reasons. Today, I'm gonna show you how simple it is to create content in just a few minutes. I'm going to show you, Claudia, actually where I got inspiration recently for an Instagram post that literally took me less than 10 minutes. Are you ready for this? I'm going to show you. Super excited. And in the meantime, sorry, I went a, a little quiet. I was listening, but also I was uh, trying to share a behind the scene link. So Sam, wink, wink, if you're there, uh, go and check it out because uh, you have created some templates for us, haven't you? I have. Why don't I give you a little preview of the templates that are to come? I've got them on my screen now. You guys can see them. We've got four of them there that you'll be able to access and use for free. How about that to start Super off Super exciting. Week? We love that. And uh, we're going to have the link in chat in just a second. I shared on our behind the scene. If not, I'm going to place it in the chat as well. But let's get started. I'm really looking forward to, to see your process. Let's get started. I am showing you exactly that, Claudia. I'm showing you the process. I want this to feel accessible and easy for everyone. So I'm going to show you a real blog post that I read just a few weeks ago that gave me an idea for a simple Instagram post. So this is a post by Preview, which is a scheduler for, for Instagram that's popular in this a uh, blog post talks about Instagram limits and rules, hour and day. And I was reading this and I thought, you know, I'm learning from this, but I also thought, wow, there's some really interesting stats in this blog post that I know my audience would benefit from learning. So it was that moment, Claudia, where I thought, wait a second, I could make a really simple Instagram post in Creative Cloud Express sharing this information. I want to point out, these are not limits that I came up with. They're simply facts that I read in a blog post that I thought were worthy of sharing. And to play it extra safe, I tagged preview app in this because I wanted to give them credit for the information itself. But let me just show you this post, which I honestly made using a few shapes, a simple colored background and some of my branded fonts that you can have uh, in your in your design panel in your your brand kit in uh, Creative Cloud Express. We'll get into that. 
I want to show you, Claudie, how well this post did. Okay. And I always love, you know, whenever I put a picture of myself, you know, comments, hey, Phil, nice to see you, whatever, right? I never would have thought that a simple chart that took me 10 minutes would perform so well. And you can see here, I think I had well over 100 comments or close to it. I had a lot of engagement and I had a ton of saves on this post because people were like, hey, that's information that's useful for me and I may want to come back to that. So on Super Instagram, exciting. right? On Instagram, we're always trying to uh, encourage, foster engagement. Obviously, likes and comments are important, but shares and saves are even more important. This is a good example of how content creation doesn't have to take a ton of time to be able to put something that you find interesting that your audience might also find interesting as well. So that's a little case study of how I built a post using a set of templates that I am sharing with you today. Today is not and about I me. I'm just going to say today is not about me jumping in Creative Cloud Express to flex my design skills. I'm totally self-taught. I'm, I'm a fan of clean and simple design. So that's what we're focusing on today. Go ahead. I cut you off. No, it's fine. I was just saying it's lovely to see this example that is not the usual, you know, photo, flashy photo. Um, it's beautiful to see some graphic and the power of information and how you, you know, I'm really curious to see how you created that. But thank you so much for sharing also the, the result of, of thank you. Uh, such uh, such different posts, which I think is super useful. I've not seen anybody doing this before. So really, really excited. Looking, looking forward to see how, how we're going to make this happen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm obviously really excited about it too because I think we tend to overthink content creation all too often, right? It's like it's like we think, okay, I know I need to post on Instagram today. I don't have a lot of time. How am I going to pull something together quickly? And the key for success on Instagram is to be consistent. You've got to be consistent. You've got to decide. We're going to hop into this design here in a second. In fact, Claudia, I'm going to let you choose which template you want to start with, or we're going to design something together. The key with Instagram, friends, is that you decide You know, a, a certain cadence. If it's three posts a week, if it's one post a week, two posts a week, whatever you decide, whatever is within you know, your capabilities, um, you should decide that and you should stick with it. It's not good to post five times in one week and then we don't hear from you for a month. The key to Instagram is consistency and the algorithm will reward you for it. So I'm going to watch said, this video over in. and over again when we're done because I usually <laughs> do like a post and then I disappear, I hibernate myself. <laughs> well, I know. So... Here we go. I think maybe, Claudia, let's start with something simple. Your attention, your, you, you were excited by the fact that that posted so well and it was just text. So maybe what we'll do is we'll start from what I call my memorable quote template, which um, is right in line with that, that totally. simplicity that we're trying to, you know, go towards like, let's not worry about a complicated image or sourcing an image or going and hiring a photographer and taking an image or asking someone to take a picture. By the time we do all that, it's already next week. So let's start with uh, a quote, a very simple quote. Okay. Beautiful. And I think that you're finding a lot of people in chat saying the same. Everyone is saying always overthinking the templates. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Well, this is a cool one. And, and for those of you that are stressed, about showing up on Instagram. Even if you're not a graphic designer, Creative Cloud Express is the perfect place for you to make content. We'll start with this example and I'll show you right away. I'm showing you a, a, a famous quote from Maya Angelou. Um, you could easily use someone else's quote up here. You could also, if you're a content creator or a small business owner, maybe there's something that you always say that you wanna share with your audience that might resonate. Earlier, I talked about the importance of um, I talked about the importance of content that's shareable, and if you can say something, even if it's one simple sentence that resonates with your audience, then it can be hugely, um, it, you know, can have a viral effect almost. If people see it and they resonate with it, they'll click share, and that is the fastest way to grow your followers. So. And in I love template. that. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you real quick before Go we get ahead. started, but I really want to stress the importance for these streams and this, 
amazing information that you're sharing because that's the beauty of working with Creative Cloud Express. You do not need to be a designer. As long as you have any sort of business that you want to promote, I think Phil is sharing very valuable, valuable information um, for all business owners out there. If you're, you know, just started a side hustle, that's key because not everybody here is a designer and nobody here is, you know, studied marketing. So thank you so much for, for giving us this gold info. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's like, I'm multitasking here. I think I ax I've got so many windows open, Claudia, that I think it crashed, but we're back. We're back in action. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to customize this template. So as I said, this could be a famous quote that maybe you see somewhere, you see it on the street, you see it on Pinterest and you think, wow, that really resonated with me. This is the perfect template to start with. You can pop in that, uh, that quote right in here. So let's, you know, could be a quote from someone famous in this case, you could also, if you're a small business owner, you're a content creator, maybe there's a quote, as I said earlier, something that you say that resonates with people. So let me, Claudia, I'll come up with something. And then I want you also thinking if you have a quote or something that you said, yes. okay? I know I'm putting you on the spot. We didn't talk about that. So um, I got my go-to sentence, which is super quick and easy, which is make it happen. That's that's me. Make it happen. I love that. Okay. So this is a good example to show how killer even a single sentence three words claudia how this looks right so so i almost say on instagram the more complicated you make it or the longer text you have the more or i should say the less likely people are to read the full thing so i love how quick it is how simple that is and you can you can you can share it you can someone sees this they can post it to their story they can share it and then all of a sudden your name your social media handle goes out to them and i think it's really cool something I'm i always notes. say I'm taking you're taking notes, notes. <laughs> right something i always say um i say this the best online branding recreates the in-person experience uh, we're going to be spending the week together. So maybe I'll talk about this for a quick second. Look how easy it is to just add that text in. I've already got it set to my brand font here. Um, again, like I said a second ago, this is not about me jumping into Creative Cloud Express and flexing my design skills. The whole reason I absolutely love this app, I love this tool because you can make content without having to fuss. There's no fuss factor. There is no better tool on the internet with better templates to start from. I mean, I think my templates are kind of cute. The ones you get and to start I was with just today. Jump so in many and say, I was just going to jump in and say Sam has been lovely and shared the link on chat. So either if you're watching from YouTube or if you're watching on Behance, you'll be able to access all the templates, beautiful templates that feel as kindly created and shared accessible for free. So just go ahead and click on the link and use the templates, this gorgeous template. So thank you, Sam, for sharing. And of course, thank you, Phil, for making that happen. I'm going to say that thank again. Thank you. <laughs> We're having fun. We're having fun. I'm showing you some of the, um, the basic, even the small little edits that you can make to this template that we're starting from. So I put my name up there. This is my quote. Claudia, we put your quote earlier. We could pop your name or even better, your social media handle down at the bottom here. What you could also do when you go to post this on your Instagram feed is you can tag the person. So even if it's not your quote or maybe it's one of your favorite creators quote, you just tag them, they get notified and they might be inclined to share it out to their big audience. So that's another strategy that's really getting you out there in terms of visibility with just simple designs. Yay, I love this. So I think we should Amazing. go back to our templates and maybe now I'll choose, maybe I'll choose Claudia, maybe I'll choose one that has some images and we can have some fun with that. Let me go back to my shared library. Yes, let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. Let's so we switch go from, it up. From text to images, but I love, I love that you started with that approach and the fact that you share the chat. That's definitely not something that I have done personally or I've seen. So I think that was super cool. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and say I'm taking notes. So <laughs> if you're going to go to my Instagram, you're going to start to see some quotes and tables and charts. You know where I got that from. We're going <laughs> to know where gonna, we got it. I'm actually going to apply this strategy and tag you. <laughs> I love it. Listen, <laughs> but can we talk about that for a second? It is literally the highest form of flattery when someone post something on social media that you've inspired. We always think, um, you know, the internet is still a little bit like the wild, wild west in terms of what 
the legality is around reposting someone's content that you don't own. Typically on Instagram, I'm not a lawyer and I never give legal advice, but I'm a brand strategist. And I certainly know that when you're inspired by someone to be able to use their quote, something that they said, photos, it gets a little bit trickier to share that. So that's why I typically like to stick with uh, text, but it is a form of flattery really, when someone reposts your thoughts, your ideas. Claudia, to your point, what you just said, you're going to tag me in your final creation. Nothing makes me more excited than when people share and remember to tag me in something they've created that was an idea that maybe I, a little seed that I planted in some Beautiful. way. Love that. So, I absolutely love that. I was. I said to you we were going to choose one with images, but I I wanted to. I think in the vein this week we're talking all about how to create content in a really simple way. I don't want to skim over this one because I think this one is also really simple. If you are short for time today, I'm going to challenge you to post on Instagram today, viewer. I'm challenging Ooh. you. Ooh, we got a challenge. We got, we got a, a challenge. challenge. Um, I'm going to challenge you to create a piece of content from this simple text graphic. And I call this, this or that. <laughs> so you can customize the question up there. Which one are you? The example text says, I plan my content weeks in advance, or I'm all about being inspired in the moment. You don't, all you have to do is edit the text, which is literally a matter of creating this, creating a design from this template and then going over here and editing the text. So Claudia, I'm gonna ask you, which one are you? I'm the one who posts and disappears. <laughs> so I would definitely say uh, being in the moment when I'm there. <laughs> you know what? You you might be surprised by my answer because you might think because content, social media content, branding is my world. I'm actually the same as you. Sometimes I get really into it. I spend a day, if I can, a Sunday and prepare my content for the week. But I think a lot of people can relate to this, this idea that like, yes, in an ideal world, we plan our content weeks in advance, but life happens and it's really hard to do that. So I'm all about being inspired in the moment. Ideally, we find a happy medium between these yes. two is what I yes. normally tell people. <laughs> yes, always, always trying to find a bit of balance, especially with the, the social media. But I think that, I mean, the templates and the tips that you're sharing, they really provide that sort of, you know, make it easy, make it a fun, make it happen in just a few clicks and in just a few minutes. And I love that you are right away, as much as you said, we're not doing super design jumps, but that's, you know, that's exactly what we're here together to share these techniques for not designers and just allow everybody who has an idea to express it with Credit Cloud Express, Express in just a few clicks. So super exciting. Oh, I'm so glad that you find it exciting. So I'm just playing around with the design. This could be coffee drinker. This could be tea drinker. Claudia, are you a coffee or a tea drinker? Coffee, coffee, Italian. Coffee, I'm, coffee. I'm Italian, so I don't know if that <laughs> that's part of my Italian DNA, but I'm definitely big on caffeine, coffee drinker. What about you? I would have to be both. I would <laughs> have to be both. Um, I can't even choose, but that's also interesting in itself because the point of this post, I'd say more so than the other templates, it sparks engagement, sparks engagement, sparks engagement. Even if it's a simple question that has nothing to do with your brand, people see this and they're excited to chime in with their answer, which means they comment on your beautiful, simple graphic Instagram feed post. And then you get comments, 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 comments. So it's all about Keep creating a conversation. Thank you. Exactly. It's all about creating a conversation. And if you can do that with a simple text post that takes literally, I think you could customize this in less than five minutes. Oh, we've say, been already over what? Four or five different posts in yes. 15 minutes? Just That's to amazing. prove a point, we'll do one more in the short amount of time that we have just to show and people how quick <laughs> you can do this. And we have some interaction here with Mustafa saying, coffee, let us know in the chat. What is your, cause I mean, we are interactive here, we're live. So yeah. why don't we just pause? We have pretty much three minutes left. Why don't we come up with a question right. for the chat before we say goodbye? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we I want to know, well, um, we left-handed or right-handed? Left-handed or right-handed? That's Let a good one. That's a good one. Let us know in the chat if you're right-handed or left-handed. What about you, Phil? I am left-handed. Ooh. I am right-handed, but little scoop. I was just talking with my mom uh, a few months ago and I was like, mom, like I keep doing these things left to right. And I'm like, 
And I found out just now, and I'm over 30, that I actually was born left-handed and I never even no know. Since, yes. So like, I'm so gifted with my left hand. <laughs> and it turns out that, yeah, that was my uh, original approach. So that's that was a very funny question that you asked because it's very appropriate to this this time. We have a right, 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 coffee and right, coffee and right, both. Yeah. Chris also is People. saying both. People answering both questions. That is the perfect example if you guys are a active in the chat right now and having fun with us for the few minutes we have to today, you'll see how a simple question, even if it has nothing to do with your brand, can get people talking and it can get you on the radar of your ideal audience in a really simple way. And we have a lot of, it looks like we are, we are the only two left-handed, <laughs> me and you hidden under cover, but Harry is saying, right, Jessica, righty, Lisa, coffee and right, Chris Olson, both, Dorina, nice to see you, right-handed, uh, Mustafa, right-handed, left-brainer, Katharina, righty, Monica, right, and okay. Andreas is just saying hello, definitely right from Brian, so it doesn't look like we are the only two. We're the uh, only two. We're in the in minority. The it's okay. We're different, Claudia. We're different. It's okay. Yeah, I didn't even know it. So I'm loving, I'm loving being this uh, left and right hands. Just super cool. But yeah, that was a perfect example of any question that is, um, can be easily associated to everybody life and everyday life. I think that, that the example that you show us with coffee is all about everyday life and uh, things that we got in common because that's where we really yes. connect and that's where the beautiful of the conversation and interaction sparks yes. um we yes, have yes, yes. about two minutes so i'm here with you for anything else that you want to share in these two minutes before we wrap it up for the day where is the time gone phil where is it gone? It goes by so fast. Listen, <laughs> I'm so happy that you and I got to spend time today talking about some of the easier templates that we can use that I've made. My whole inspiration or my whole motivation this week will be live again tomorrow and the day after. My whole inspiration um, in sharing what I love about Creative Cloud Express is how simple it is to create high quality content on the screen. You're seeing another template that's available at the link that we're going to share um, in that chat. It's clickable. Um, it's, you know, I just want to show you how easy it is to start with one of these. Obviously, we don't have time today, but I can click photos and I can drag in a stock photo. I could upload one of my own photos, tell a little story about it. This is all about easy content creation without being a designer. And I hope that this has inspired you to make something amazing. Yes, and we're going to go through the week. There is so much more that we're going to be creating together with Phil, but also go ahead and explore the YouTube channel for Creative Cloud Express. Don't forget to subscribe. There is so much in terms of how-to tutorial. Which I spent the entire week with you last week yeah, uh, just to create so, much, so many different graphics from social media to menus to creating a logo. This is the perfect place, even if you're not a designer, to make standout graphics. They're going to help you to uh, get your business going so as we said we're going to be here tomorrow at 8 30 again with phil what are we going to be doing tomorrow phil do we know yeah tomorrow we're going can to we give be us a sneak pick i can tomorrow we're going to be talking about instagram live a lot of people don't know that you can actually share a graphic media from camera roll on screen during your instagram live so i'm going to show you Ooh. how that looks and i'm going to give you another template that's going to make that really easy uh it's going to help you totally stand out on my favorite vertical of instagram we'll talk about that tomorrow super exciting and also don't forget that as i said before phil has shared with us free clickable uh, sorry free accessible templates for creative cloud for creative cloud express they are available in the chat sam has placed a link so don't forget to access those they are free and also now we're gonna say goodbye but before we do so i just wanted to make sure that you go and grab a glass of water or a coffee uh, because we have the awesome Budaval with the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge next and much more fun as usual here at Adobe Live. Phil, thank you so much to be here with us and for kicking off this morning and this week together. And I will see you tomorrow, same time. I can't Pacific. wait. See you then. It's going to be great. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow.